Welcome back to WABU's live coverage of Boston University hockey. In between the second and third periods, BU holds a commanding 6 0 lead over Vermont. Joining me right now, two guys that used to play BU hockey, now they're NHL players, and unfortunately, you guys aren't playing. This is Sean McEachern to my immediate right, and this is Bobby Lachance's brother, Scott Lachance. <laughs> First of all, you had, you had an opportunity to actually try and play some hockey elsewhere. Tell us about that. Well, I went over to Finland and uh, played in, uh, for a team called Pico Espo, and I was over there for a month and a half, and I uh, decided to come home and uh, practice here, and hopefully the season will start up soon. It's tough for you guys to find some time to fill in and to actually play the game any way you can. I couldn't hear you, sorry. <laughs> it's tough for you guys to find places to play. You went to Finland, you had to fly so far away to play, and yet you're back here now, and you're practicing in Merrimack. It's got to be so frustrating for you guys. Well, it's tough because, you know, this is the time of season that we really, uh, Get into the, the meat of the schedule, and we're playing games every night. But um, now we're here watching BU play, and it makes, it, it makes us really miss it. Well, Scott, it's got to be nice at least to be able to come here and see the old guys, certainly not the guys you used to play with, but at least the team that you used to play on. Oh, definitely. I mean, this is probably the only thing, actually, that I'm enjoying uh, with my time off is going to get a chance to see my brother play. Uh, other than that, I mean, I think it's, uh, it's difficult for everyone having to go through this frustrating time and not knowing when we're going back. Who do you keep in touch with on the Islanders? Uh, which are the people that you talk to that tell you what's going on to keep you involved and informed? Well, uh, Troy Loney is our player rep, and he has uh, he has my number, and I always talk to Marty McGinnis and close friends with him as well as Travis Green. So uh, they try to keep us well informed, and it seems like uh, so far there's not much uh, really to tell us. Uh, Sean, this certainly isn't what you had planned when you became a professional hockey player, but I guess at least you're able to come here and see your old guys play. Yeah, it's a lot of fun being home and watching, uh, getting to watch uh, BU play. I don't know, I know too many guys in the team, but um, it's great to, to see them doing well, and uh, hopefully they can get a national championship this year. Basically, that's what the national championship is something that this school has been without for quite a while. What are your chances? What does Bobby have to say to you about the chances for this team? Well, they have a, they have a great chance. Last year, that was tough for them. They lost in uh, the finals against a great uh, Lake State team. And uh, this year, I think they have a just as talented team, except they're one year uh, with a lot more experience. So I think uh, their chances are good. They, they were struggling a little bit at the beginning, but uh, that's something that's custom with a BU team where uh, come Beanpot time, that seems to be the time that uh, they start to get things going. All right, Scott Lachance, Sean McEachern, Pittsburgh Penguins, New York Islanders. Hopefully we'll be able to see them playing again real soon. We'll be back with second period highlights with Dale Arnold and Mike Ruzioni when we continue with our live coverage of BU hockey here on TV 68.